inside one of the coding centers in Lagos, where residents are taught everything about computer programming. The trainees who fall under the out-of-school category are taught coding ranging from website design to app development. Right now we are taking them through the basis of um, coding. We're taking them through Java, Python and building of web design. And it's actually very good because it's the foundation of coding as a whole. Among the trainees here is your one day a teacher who's hoping that at the end of the five-week training period she would be able to develop an application with new ways of teaching. My expectation at the end of the program is to be able to start my own blogging, to create a blogger where I can be able to create a teaching platform where children can go there and learn things on their own without any of the teachers around. The initiative is the first of its kind in the country and is tied to the plans of the authorities to make Lagos a smart city. Code Lagos is our response to ensuring that Lagos is ready for its future, which is going to be technology driven. Um, we, we know that for a city of 24 million people and counting, it has, it, the city must become a smart city. So we must bring technology into our everyday life, you know, the way we run our transport system, our schools, our hospitals, security. So for us, what we've tried to do, um, a clear mandate we're given by the governor is to ensure that Lagosians can be part of that new economy. Coding sessions are not only limited to training centers like this. They are also available online and have been infused into the study curriculum of over 200 schools in the city. Authorities plan to expand the program to cover 1,000 schools by the start of 2018. Our vision for Lagos is big. It's big, it's bold, um, but it's something that we feel as Lagos we can achieve. We want to train one million residents on how to code. That's, that's what we're trying to do. You know, we have to equip the centers, um, we have to buy computers and centers, we have to um, contract um, facilitators that will do the training, um, we have to, um, the facilitators that are doing the training are being paid to do the training. So there's, an, there's a whole economy around the Code Lagos um, um, initiative, so that excites us also. Authorities are planning big for the city and the Code Lagos initiative is very key to the overall plan of transforming Lagos into a modern mega city. And if the government is able to meet its target of successfully training one million residents how to code by 2019, then Lagos would have been on its way to becoming the major driving force in tech revolution in Africa. Deji Badmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.